Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'll be doing a review on nine XRS mud racing cars. Uh, basically all of them except one, and that is because I've already done a video on him. That would be back here. Barry the Pedal. I've done a video on him already. So if you want to check it out, it is on my channel. Just look up uh, Barry the Pedal XRS or something like that. You will find him. So yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all the ones that have been released. So yeah, let me show you the packages and then we'll get into a review of them one by one. First up here, we have Lightning McQueen. Obviously, they have real sus suspension. We'll take a look at that more in depth. It basically goes like that. You have McQueen, nice picture there of Lightning. The Cars logo. Maybe Cars theory been more because, more better because... Not more better, would just have been better because all of these cars appeared in Cars 3. Um, the Extreme Racing Series is a high-octane challenge that takes Slay McQueen and his racing friends to a new level of com competition. The first event of the series celebrates mud and mayhem at Thunder Hall. Lightning and his fellow Piston Cup racers will learn the skills it takes to compete at extre as extreme racers. You have Cruz, Jackson, Cal, and Speedy on the back, all of whom are right there. So an yeah, interesting picture. Three interesting prototype pictures. Of them because as we go on to cruise here, look, the that's a nice protein picture there. And when I mean all that have been released, I just dropped a mole revlin that fell on apparently a keychain of Sally here, like this thing, precision series thing. I still have that here, and mole fell on her. In case she wants to be reviewed, she'll be reviewed soon. Don't worry, guys. Uh, and when I mean all the ones that have been released, I mean the singles ones. Because I think there was three, maybe three or two or three, I think Misfitter, RV, and Mater, so three, that were released as deluxes exclusively on Amazon. I don't have those, but yeah, all the ones that were released in stores, I do have. So here is Cruz Ramirez, nice card art. Same cars on the back, except she is replaced with Lightning. Same description. You can see a kind of prototype picture of McQueen there as well. Move those to the side back there. That fell. Uh, Jackson Storm here. And there you can see Barry the Pedal. See, the eyes are huge. Like, look at that. Huge eyes. Not sure why they decided to uh, make the protects those with eyes that big. But yep, there's Jackson Storm. And since Speed Comet fell down, here he is. Buddy Coolum. There's a nice card art of him. Yeah, I think this was the first time we saw a card art for Speedy. You have Cal Weathers there. Same cards on the back. Uh, the next-gen Leakless, George Newman, or as they call him, Leakless. Now, this was a pretty cool release because it was the first time he was released. He was then later released in a five-pack, only exclusive to Walmart, and he was the only new car in there. See, this was like the second. So this was like the first wave over there. This is the second wave. Has all different cars on the back there. So I have a TG Castlenet, or as they call them, Revolting. Not sure why they don't call them by their actual names, but that's what Mattel just does. You have Steve Slick LePage, aka Trunk Fresh. I really like his card art there. And the last one. See some cars over there. I have waiting to compare. And then the last one you have is Clutch Aid, aka D Dino Draftski. Um, yeah, so these were like the second wave that were released. Right here, these were like the second wave of cars. And those over there were the first wave of cars. So let's start off with the first wave of cars. And what better to start off with than Lightning McQueen. So here he is out of the package. He looks pretty cool. Let's get right into the review. We have XRS number 95 with like tire marks. Tread marks, I guess. Pretty cool, like carbon fender there. Nice dirt detailing on the rims. I do like the rims there. Some contingency sponsors Acting Gain, RPM Revolting Clutch Aid. XRS with like this thing. It's kind of like a fender, I guess. Or not a fender, but like additional protection. XRS, I love the tread marks there. You have some yellow on the back, which is pretty cool. Nothing on the back in terms of sponsors or anything. He just has number 95. And on the side as well. He has that on the back and the side. I like the way it goes from like red to black to yellow. Pretty cool. No number on the roof. Just some roof flaps. Pretty cool expression there. I like the dirt tailing like I said. And this is pretty cool. But McQueen has mud flaps. 
Not on the front, but on the back, though, he has mud flaps, which is pretty cool. And no sign of Rusty's anywhere. I mean, he's got the colors, but no sign of Rusty's. There's no Rusty's anywhere on him. Let's take a look at Barry here. Does he have RPM on him? Yeah, hey, look, he has RPM on the spoiler there. But no Rusty's anywhere for McQueen. That is really weird. Let's just move the camera back a little bit here. And yeah, no Rusty's on McQueen. Interesting, he's got some other contingency sponsors, but no Rusty's. That's a little strange. But let's compare him to, I think he's just based on the Cars 3 McQueen. He could be raised, based on, and some two packs just fell over that I have sitting over here. Sorry guys, there's a bunch of cars sitting over here next to me. So I knock into them backs in because they're all very close to me. Um, I think this is based on the Rust Cars 3 McQueen and not Rusty's Lightning McQueen. See, there are the differences. He does have just a slightly different expression. The mouth appears to be the same. The eyes are just a tad bit different. I feel like this model is more car. Oh no, it is the car smart Cop model. Never mind. Let's see how no taller he is because of his uh, wheels. There, you can see how they made it. See, they got rid of all Rusty's logos. No more Rusty's logos. No more Rusty's. And they got rid of the flame, the lightning bolt as well. And uh, again, yeah, let's compare him to Drag Racing Lightning McQueen, who I also reviewed earlier. And he also had no Rusty's, I do believe, anywhere on him. No, he had Rusty's on the back there and on the side. But they got rid of that. You can see some more. You can see how the designs are a little bit different. And let's give McQueen here a ride on the turntable. I don't want to spend too much time on each car because then we'll be here all day. But I need to give each car his fair share of time. So yeah, let's move on now to Jackson Storm here. There's going to be a lot of packaging for me to clean up here. Here he is. He looks very fierce. Do you like the expression on him though? Show some character. XRS, he's got his number right right there. You see McQueen had it right there as well. Barry though did not, so that's kinda weird how they do that. XRS on the side there. Some detailing back there as well. His contingency sponsors, detailing on the rims and the suspension. Blue trim going through him, obviously. XRS in the the X is blue. On McQueen, it was red. On Barry, it was orange. 2.0. And his sponsor is present on him. It's igniter there and there, which is liquid um, nitrogen. Uh, adrenal, sorry. And obviously the mud flaps as well. His color of the fender thing, whatever that is, is blue. And he does have the number on the roof, which is pretty weird. That McQueen doesn't. But I guess next runs do have some different designs. But it's kind of weird that both of them have numbers on the roof. Barry and Jackson do, and McQueen doesn't. But then Barry doesn't have the number on the hood. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Yeah, they did it. Let's compare Jackson here to his drag racing release. See, the expression is a little bit different. He is showing, like, teeth in this one and not in this one. See, the tires are obviously different because these are more mud racing tires. These are obviously just racing tires. Igniter is present on him in both versions. 2.0 there. And then if we just compare him to the regular Jackson Storm there. See, the expression is different, which is pretty cool. I do like that they changed it up. Basically, it's just the regular Jackson Storm with some XRS and decals, and he's raised up, I guess, with different tires. So, 
So there is Jackson Storm there. And now let's move on to, if I can reach her, because I'm so far away. Cruz Ramirez. garbage for me to throw away pretty cool expression she's looking off to the side there she has xrs on the front with number 51 so again i'm not sure why they didn't put the number on barry so let me just show barry the refresher guys I remember like i said full review she's on my channel xrs her contentancy sponsors are probably like down there somewhere yeah right there you can get a glimpse of them right there but they're hidden by her fender thing Danico, so she does have her sponsor on visible on her so i'm not sure why mcqueen did it number 51 with the mud flaps it's kind of look kind of looks weird they're blue in the mud racing uh with mud all around it no number on the roof though so it seems like kind of random on which ones they put the number where um, but the sponsor uh, so far seems that only McQueen has it missing. I like the black fenders there as well. I think they were on Jackson too. They weren't just weren't just weren't as noticeable. You can kind of see there they are. They just weren't as noticeable because it's black on black. Let's compare her to regular Cruz. Obviously, based, obviously it's based on the Danico Cruz Ramirez. And the drag racing crews, and all three of these crews actually have different expressions, which is awesome because, especially the 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 I mean, the mouth is the same, but the eyes are drastically different. Not like you can see McQueen here has basically the same mouth and the same eyes. My eyes are just a tad bit different here. Uh, no, the eyes are really different. So yeah, I really do like that. But there she is compared to the drag racing crews. I like I kind of like those uh, designs on the side. I don't know what they're supposed to be. But I do like them. And I do like how they released 10 cars. One more considering the deluxe. But 10 singles for the uh, mud racers. But they only released 6 for drag racing. And it seems like they've stopped with the drag racer series because they've gone on to the rocket racer so i'm not they released six drag racers and called it quits so i, I 10 then they go to six now i think they're gonna go back to like seven or eight rocket racers i really wish there was more consistency like pick for example if i'm tell i'd pick maybe eight different cars eight different characters okay and release them in all the formats so you obviously have your three main characters Cruz, mcqueen and jacks and then pick uh five more pick cal uh bobby bobby swift has not made an appearance in this drag rate in these uh extreme racing series i pick cal and bobby there you go that's five then pick some next gen and some more stock cars and release them in all the varieties instead of switching between forms i or switching between characters releasing like for example clutch aid and uh, dino draftsky and tg castle only appeared in this series and haven't appeared since uh, same with Cal. Brick only appeared in Brickyard. They only appeared in the Drag Racer. So yeah, I wish there was some more consistency. Pick like eight different cars and release them in all varieties, in all the uh, different series. But uh, Mattel's choosing to go in a different direction. Kind of unfortunate. But whatever. You know, kind of like the T-Rock series where they just released all the 11 World Grand Prix racers. Here is Cal Weathers. It's a very nice expression on. I do like it. You've got some dirt detailing on the front there. XRS 42. He's got the big 42 on the roof here. You can see McQueen had no. I wonder. Mine can't be an error, right? They, that I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Where's the back of a card art? Not that one. Let's see. We should find the back of a card that has McQueen on the back. Yeah, no 95. That's kind of weird. That. Yeah, it's kind of weird that he doesn't have the 95 on his roof, but whatever. 42 there. Big 42, Octane Gain, RPM, Revolting, Clutch Aid. And you can see there it says Hank Weathers. Um, 
it's kind of weird that Mattel went back to this because a cow was originally supposed to be called Hank. It was supposed to be Hank Weathers. But then they changed the name. Um, but they changed it too late. And so Mattel had already produced some Hank Weathers. And he was a different color. It was more of a lighter blue. And it said Hank on the roof uh, bar there. And then they realized their mistake. And then they produced cow weathers with the cow on the roof bar there. And a nicer shade of blue. In my opinion, that one was too light. But different shade of blue. But I don't know why they've gone back to the Hank Weathers on the roof bar there. Not exactly sure. The owner's like fender thing there. I don't exactly know what that is. Put each one on the back there. Dynaco. So he's got a lot of sponsors all over it. So I'm not sure. Like I said, why McQueen is the different one. We have no number on the roof and no Rusty's logos anywhere. So he does have the number on the back. But yeah, not sure why he has no Rusty's logos anywhere. Yeah, a couple big Dynaco logos there with the 42 on the rear. More dirt detailing. Yeah, I really do like his expression compared to the regular cow. The regular cow looks very relaxed, and this cow looks determined to go win the mud racing competition. So, yeah, I really do like that they've changed the expression a lot. I do like the new expression. See, the rims are different makes sense they're using motor racing tires it would be different you can see really similar there dynaco dynaco 4242 dynaco on the rear and let's give cal here a ride on the turntable and oh uh, yeah now let's move on to Speedy Comet here. He also has a really cool expression. That's not what I meant to do. Just keep that as one piece, in one piece, as best as possible here because I guess I'm gonna have a lot of garbage to throw away, so I'd rather keep it in one piece. Put it there. Close that up. Do that. There we go. Put that to the side. And here is Speedy Comet. Pretty cool, considering I think at this at his time of release, he was also released only in his launcher. So, pretty cool that he got re released here, and then obviously he's been released as a single since. XRS number 21. The big 21 on the roof there with the blinkers. I guess those are would be blinkers, right? His sponsor is blinker, blinkers on the roof there. Contingency sponsors, and his rims are very similar. If not, I don't, yeah, they're basically the same as Cal's. Kind of see they do say light year on them. Actually, maybe it, no, they don't. That was just my light, so I thought that said light year, but no, they don't say light year. And but they are the exact same as cows there. Are they same as cruises? No cruises. I guess she would have different rooms because she's the next gen. See McQueen's the same spokes. Yep, so you can see those are the stock car rims, and those are the next gen rims there. Again, the detailing there. The fenders. The mud flaps. Blinker 21. You have a part of a blinker logo right there and right there. You have blinker 21 and connecting engine to engine. It's obviously like a dating site, kind of like intersection. Again, I love his expression there. And I like the blue fade. Or not blue fade. Or orange fade to blue there. I just love Speedy's design. And here he is compared to the regular Speedy Comet. Now, Speedy should have the orange stripe going along his wheels. Unfortunately, that's not in here. Probably really just reuse the same base from Cal. I think maybe the base is actually different sizes, but they probably just reuse these, like, rims here. This axle, just put it into Speedy. Or vice versa, use the Speedy's axle for Cal's. See, so yeah, I really like the expression change there as well. Pretty cool that they change it to a more determined look for both Cal and Speedy there. Yeah, I really do like Speedy Comet's design. Probably one of the best looking stock cars in Cars 3, in my opinion. But there are some pretty cool ones out there. And uh, yeah, one Mattel, like I said, one Mattel does release all the next gens. I've said this in a previous video. One Mattel does release all the next gens. 
I will do a big video comparing the Cars 1, Cars 3, and Cars 3 next, Cars 3, Cars 1, Cars 3 stock car, and Cars 3 next gens, uh, all together, and, uh, yeah, saying what I think about each, how they've changed, stuff like that, I will do a big video like that, once my tablet releases all the next gens, anyways, here is Steve Slick LePage, and his expression looks to be changed as well, it's pretty cool that they're changing all the expressions, Applaud Mattel, let's keep it in one piece as best as possible, then. Steve Slick LePage, the trunk fresh racer. Now, I think he was kind of sought after as well when he came out because uh, you could only get him in the uh, next gen 5 4 pack, which was pretty rare. Him and Barry the Pedal both were only released in that 4 pack. Uh, but obviously, Barry the Pedal has been released a lot since then. And in my opinion, he's going to become a peg warmer at my stores at times because he's been released as a single in 2 pack. The 2 packs that he's been releasing have kind of been clogging the pegs. Um, but yeah, he, and then he's also been released as a rocket racer. Uh, I do have him. I'm Surprisingly, the only rocket racer I'm looking for is Lightning McQueen. As soon as I do find him, though, I will get a video out on that. But you can see, look how look look how good that is. Look how it's like a mirror almost. Look at that. You can see my finger there. You can... Yeah, wow, that's really shiny, really reflective. I, this wasn't this. Well, I guess, it, I guess, never mind. He's hey, the same shine, but yeah, pretty cool. A lot of dirt detailing there. His content. That's kind of weird. Hold on a second. He should have the same sponsors as Jackson here. Why does he have the stock car spons sponsors? Same with Barry DePel. Why do they have the stock car sponsors? They should have the next gen sponsors. As you can see on him here, they should, they should have those sponsors. That's kind of weird. Why did they use those ones? That's weird. I'm not sure why Mattel probably messed up there, but that's kind of interesting. Love the gold foil, uh, the, not, the, the green foil on the XRS logo there as well. On the back, you have Trunk Fresh 34. So he also has a sponsor. I'm pretty sure all of them have their sponsors except McQueen so far. Number 34 on the roof, Trunk Fresh. And uh, yeah, Steve, I really do like Steve with all of his releases because of this green foil type thing. I really do like that. But I love it when Mattel uses it and... Yeah, so I really do like Steve and all of his releases. And usually when asked to say which one's my favorite, I usually say Steve. For example, XRS, which XRS racer is my favorite? I'm probably going to have to go with Steve here or Next Gen Leap, but I'm probably going to have to go with Steve because of his gold foil. I really do like it. Yeah, not gold. I keep saying gold foil, sorry. But, like, the green foil, I really do like that. So here he is compared to is normal release the front is kind of different you kind of see that there the sides also got less foil I do like how he's not the same on both sides I do like that about him also you can see they've kind of the rims are different you can see he has black rims on his normal variation for release, he's got green, green rooms here. I don't have buried a pile, but he's got blue rooms. I, I think he has blue rooms, too. And his normal release, Jackson, obviously has those bluish black. Well, not really blue. It's just blackish rooms. That's the first one we've noticed I've shown that has a variation in his rims. Pretty cool. Obviously, I'll compare this version to the Rocket Racer version once I do the review. Once I get the... McQueen Rocket Racer. I don't know why. I found all of them in one store. Um, and McQueen was the only one that wasn't there. That That's weird. I guess he was the main character, so someone found him and just wanted him. Here is TG Castlenut. His expression looks different, too. I really like Mattel changing the expression here. Stay on the card. Oh, this is okay. yeah, I really do like Mattel changing the expression there. And... Here is TG out of the package. I'm not sure why they just name them by their sponsors. Although for the Rocket Racers, they've actually uh, changed it back and now they're calling them by name again, which is nice. I'm not exactly sure what why they, you know, differentiated from that, but whatever. Nice expression there, like I said. XRS 48. When he's got the light here, Texan. Cal didn't have that. That's pretty cool, though. 
that is cool that he's the one that he's one that has layer tech so you can see how even with all these uh extra fishes they have made them different which is pretty cool see the sponsors there xrs some pretty cool patterns right there xrs revolting on the back we built alternators revolting again we built alternators got this like pixelated type design here minecrafty almost down there as well three window bars 48 obviously he was 80 uh revolting was 84 in cars one but pixel realized that's a no no and they just flipped his number because you can't have two 84s on the track and they did because they also made the apple racer 84 uh, because like the first apple computer was released in 1984 something like that and uh yeah so they didn't realize that but they changed it it basically just flipped the number tg looks pretty cool here I do like his expression and let's compare him to the regular tg cast not he is also one that was kind of desirable because uh i think tg is one of the rare uh, rarest stock cars because i believe he was only released in that four pack um that was exclusive to target hasn't been re-released since hopefully he has for some people to be able to find it but yeah Pretty cool there. They got rid of that slogan there. Reveal alternators. They didn't put it on the side there. But they did put it on the spoiler there. Pretty cool. So yeah, TG here is a pretty cool release. And I'm not sure how they pick which ones to release. Like I said, I think they should stick to just releasing the same ones. But I'm not sure why they how they decide to pick which ones to release. Obviously, Jackson, McQueen, and Cruz. Obviously, they have to release those ones, but other than that, I'm not sure how they decide to pick which ones to release. Moving on, here is Dino Drafsky, a.k.a. Clutch Aid. And the Clutch Aid Next Gen, as I'm recording this, is hitting stores in um, January of 2020. 2020 I just said that. Um, I think he's hitting stores, at least. Uh, hopefully, I can find him pretty soon. I'll make a video on him, because he's in the newest case. I'm trying to find him... Um, the silver cars are coming out, uh, a couple more releases from there. You may see videos, if I find, like, Trainer Cruz Ramirez, I'm probably not gonna do a video on her. I'm looking for the variations of, like, Terry Cargas, Chris Rostovsky 2. Uh, I have found the variation of Ponchi White Pat. The XRS 121 there, again, light year text, so I'm not exactly sure how they choose. Because you can see, like, Speedy Comet doesn't have light year text. McQueen, no light year text. Looking at the stock cars here, TG does have like your text, and Cal here does not, so I'm not sure how they decide which ones to make with like your text. And this is not, but I do like that they're differentiating between the ones that they do make. Yeah, Clutch A has his contingency sponsor, kind of interesting. XRS there, Clutch A has got the band aid dirt on the band aid there, 121. Again, I like these fading designs where it goes from like one color to another blue goes to white here here it's um orange to blue i like those kind of designs clutch aid clutch aid pretty cool design there xrs green rims there 121 again they did change expression so his expression looks really similar to tg's here basically the same mouth just the eyes are a little different about speed here well okay they did change the expression from the original uh release but then they basically made it the same for everyone cows and speedies look almost identical expressions actually so uh yeah i guess they did change the expression there but they did make it basically the same for all the ones that they did release i just noticed that kind of disappointing I think it was running on 30 minutes and I'll probably wrap it up. I only have one car though, so yeah. Here he is compared to the regular Dino. Not sure why they went with green rims, kind of like with Steve. Not sure why they didn't make them white, but whatever. Do like a nice change of scenery, I guess, once in a while. Yeah, another, another weird one to make. As a um, 
XRS racer. Like I, I said, I don't know how they pick which ones. And they really kind of went all out in this series. They released 10 different singles. And then, like I said, for Rocket Racers, they've only released six. They're probably done with that. And not for Rocket Racers, sorry. Drag Racers, they've only released six. And they're kind of done with that as my two packs fall again. Um, and they're kind of done with that. And now on uh, for Drag Racers, they're only released six. And for Rocket Racers... I don't think they're gonna release that much. I feel like they're only I think they've released five and I think there's only two more planned. So kinda weird how they do it. And uh I do kind of wanna know what's after Rocket Racers or they're gonna be done with the XRS. I do like them releasing the XRS, but at the same time I really wish they'd focus more on just the singles, releasing the next gens we haven't gotten yet. Plus the XRS racers, they hang around. I mean I still walk, I can still walk into a Target and find mud racers on the pegs. I walk into a Target, there are plenty of drag racers hanging around. Uh, so yeah, I really wish they focus on distributing the mainline singles more, and not just the XRS racers. Cause like I said, Mo Revlin, when was she released? Like June? I never ever found her in a store. Uh, and same goes with a lot of cars I never found in stores this year, so... Or last year, technically. So, yeah, I really wish they'd focus more on distributing the singles and not just these uh, XRS racers, even though they are pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, this is pretty cool. They have covered the Leakless logo with the XRS um, symbol. That's the first time they've covered a logo. You can see Blinker doesn't have it covered. I'm just looking off to the side here. Yeah, none of them have the logo covered except Leakless. So, I wonder if that's a mistake on Mattel. They meant to delete the Leakless logo. But no, you can kind of see here in the card art. See, here's the Leakless logo. So yeah, it's pretty weird that they did it. I don't know. Whatever. Pretty cool, though. It's expression. Let's see. Compared to Steve's here. Yep, mouths are the same, just as I suspected. And the eyes are almost the same, just a tad different. Again, I don't know why he's the stock car sponsors, but he does. The fender's there. Nice yellow rims. Uh, regularly because has like these golden rims XRS there leakless and then leakless again on the spoiler like I said I love these cars that they where they fade this one fades from kind of fades from yellow to black there towards the back I love when I do that XRS logos there 52. The mud flaps in. Yeah, Leakless is just a classic. I mean, it's a classic car. We've got Claude Scruggs, the Cars 1 Leakless station, was basically one of the first Cars 1 racers to be released. And he's been, you know, a classic ever since. Same thing with Nitroid, No Stall. Those guys are classics. Those three sponsors, I'm going to say. Not, I mean, not counting HTB, Dynacore, Rusty's, but Leakless, No Stall. And Nitrate, in my opinion, are the three classic sponsors. Because they were the first ones to be released in 2006. I think. I Nitrate, I know for sure, was released in 2006. I don't remember. I think Leakless was as well, along with Most All, because I think they were released in two-pack, right? Um, you know. They had the big crash. That's kind of why they're classics. And then, Mattel just decided to make Nitrate a classic. But yeah, those are kind of the classic racers sponsors i guess so yeah, it's pretty cool that mattel finally decided to release the leakless next gen after waiting so long and we still haven't gotten a no stall next gen although i do think that's coming pretty soon in the next couple of cases but here are all the cars i reviewed in this video nine of them probably one of the longer reviews i've done let's zoom out here so i can fit all of them on the turntable here jackson don't fall where's steve here's steve uh, Dino here, and also Barry the Petal, and I dropped Mo Revlin. She just put her in the background there because she keeps falling down. And also, here is Barry the Petal, who I reviewed before. So let me know which which XRS Drag Racer is your favorite. Not Drag Racer, XRS Mud Racer is your favorite. I'm going to have to go with, like I said, Steve Slick LePage. I really do love his gold not gold, green for and also leakless because at the time of his release i don't think he the uh the die cast was out yet so i'm gonna have to go with those two but yeah let me know your favorite i also do like uh speedy comet there cal is pretty cool and it's kind of weird that mcqueen's the only one that doesn't have rusties on him but yeah 
Thanks for watching here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you for sticking through with this 35-minute video. And I'll see you all next time for whatever video that may be. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.